Hi, I'm Nancy. We talk more about Canadian immigration in my channel. So I thought of renaming it to a, a generic name. Uh, so I have uh, renamed it to Canadian Mugavari, which means Canadian address in Tamil. Whenever we talk about immigration, uh, the first question arises is whether I'm eligible or not. How can I check if I'm eligible for immigration? So that's what we are going to check, uh, check out in today's video. So the first thing that we need to check when we are thinking about immigration is the CRS score. So this can be checked online using the CRS calculator that Canada provides and there are various number of tools to check this out. So that we are going to do it today. And uh, so this CRS score is decided by Canadian government uh, in, a, in a draw. So they uh, like every two weeks they have a draw wherein they decide this cutoff and send out the invitations whoever meets that cutoff. So that is what uh, we are going to discuss today. Like what is the current trend of CRS score and uh, how can we boost that CRS score and all those details we'll check out. If you search for CRS Canada, the first link that comes is the tool that is used to calculate the CRS score. So it's the comprehensive ranking system tool that Canada uses to assess the each individual's profile. So even this tells you that who and all are eligible for this program and uh, uh, you should be uh, using this tool for uh, even the provincial nominee the canadian experience class or the fsw for everything it's the same cr score that is used so they assess you based on certain factors like skills education language work experience and other factors so let's first check out the current score the current cutoff uh, for the latest draw so if you see in the same site uh, it will tell you all the details so the current draw uh, happened on june 24th and it's only for the provincial nominee class and not for the skilled workers class so for the provincial nominee they have invited 392 uh, applications and uh, if you see the CRS cutoff is 696 and it's only for the provincial nomin nominee class and it's not for the FSW so you know, we, not, we need not worry and uh, lately they have stopped the uh, FSW uh, invitations because of the COVID I think uh, the last one was held in March Currently, they are inviting only the provincial nominees and the Canadian experience class. So, if you see, it will tell you how many applications are there currently in the pool waiting or to be invited. So, this clearly shows that uh, there are so many applications waiting who, uh, who have a cutoff below 400, like 50,000 and above. So, uh let's see the current trend uh like from 2015 and till 2020 what is the uh crs cutoff and uh how it is actually going on so if you see in kicknews.com you'll get all these details from 2015 how many issue uh, how many ITAs have been issued and uh how many uh, PNP draws, how many CEC class draws happen and how many FSW happened and uh, as I said uh, every two weeks there will be a draw and so they have mentioned the cutoff in each and every draw that had happened and what is the highest and what is the minimum in that year and uh, more information you can just check the uh, check the site uh, for every year details uh, so that you'll know how it is actually uh, how we can expect the cutoff whether it, it will reduce or whether it is going to increase uh, some predictions that is made so if you see in 2020 the lowest minimum score is 470 and the highest score is 473 so if you see 2020 it never came below 470 which was very high for FSW program and uh, if you see for uh, this is only for FSW for BNP it was way too high 696 743 something like that so 
दिस ईयर वॉज वेरी टाइट फॉर एफ एस डब्ल्यू बट आफ्टर मार्च दे एक्चुअली स्टॉप द ड्रॉ फॉर एफ एस डब्ल्यू बिकॉज ऑफ दिस करोना मे बी एंड वी डोंट नो वेन दे आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट इट एंड इफ यू सी टू थाउजेंड एंड नाइनटीन इट वॉज फोर थर्टी एट वॉज द मिनिमम स्कोर जस्ट केम वंस एंड it was uh, even in 2018 uh, 2019 it's, it was all above 435 so uh, so at least if you have 430 plus crs points then uh, we can at least try for immigration and maybe uh, in one or two years you will get the pr but for those who are uh below 400 or below 430 then you really need to think on uh, whether you need to invest money and time in this because it it is really going to take time so and we are not sure when this uh, crs is going to drop even so uh, please do think twice before applying uh, just check the crs and see if you are eligible first Uh, let's just calculate and see for a uh, unmarried person so i am selecting the marital status as single and uh, select your age with age crs reduces so careful uh, and uh, select the degree say i am saying bachelor's degree and for canadian degree no and then the, your il score should be two uh, less than 2 years old and uh, 877 is the magic score so if you score below that then your crs will drop below 400 so please uh, make sure that you score 877 at least and the work experience first they have asked canadian experience so we don't have and in the and in the foreign experience category you can give your uh, experience whether it's one or three years more and then they'll ask if you have any certificate of qualification or any additional job offer or uh, any nomination certificate so we don't have anything you can select no and uh, if you have any sibling or not in canada based on that you can select if it is no if you see the score so every factor they have mentioned separately and your score is 404 so which is actually low um so let's also calculate and see for a married person how it works so what and all additional details you need to provide apart from your details so you just mentioned that your spouse will be coming with you and uh, the rest all is going to be same as how you filled so it's your degree and uh, canadian degree as no and uh, the primary applicants IL score which should be a triple seven at least. So the extra thing here would be your spouse's education experience and the IL score. So we are selecting yours. So the certificate of qualification, the job offer, and the nomination certificate has no. and the sibling now it asks for the qualification of your spouse so here say for example i say bachelor's degree and if she has any uh, canadian experience no then uh, the ielts test here uh, only primary has to get 877 so uh, spouse factor is not going to cost that much difference so if you see here the total is still 404 even though you have some spouse factor addition added so that's how it works the crs has their own way of uh, uh, giving you points for each and everything so let's see how we can boost this score so the first thing uh, that will increase your points is the education so for bachelor's degree you have a very minimal point but you have if you have more than one degree uh masters degree or phd then your score would increase it all depends on how well assess your uh degrees so uh, only if it is from a reputed uh 
university then your masters will be considered as masters otherwise it will be considered as two or more certificates diplomas or degree so it depends on how well success your uh, uh, degree so if you just select two or more certificates uh, diplomas or degree and then let's check how uh, it increases your score so if you see currently it is 112 and it is increasing to 119 it is for two or more certificates so similarly and your score got increased similarly if you just uh, select masters it is going to be even more higher so if you are uh, having some distant education as masters uh, just check uh, if it will be considered as a master's degree uh, or not because west doesn't consider everything as masters and phd will be way more high uh, so if you just see so if you see for phd the level of education it is 140 so if you have a phd you will get a higher score in your crs so which will be very good the second thing uh, apart from the education which gives you more points is the ielts so uh, if you try to score more in ielts so uh, 877 is a magic score but above 8 eight triple seven if you are trying to score uh, then uh, it will it will actually help uh, boosting your crs score as well so if you see for the uh, official languages uh, for eight triple seven it has come one one six and uh, if you just see here even though you score 7.5 or 9 it doesn't matter it's the last band for speaking similarly for listening it's 8.5 to 9 so just try to get 7.5 in speaking 8.5 in listening and uh, 7 uh, 8 in reading and 7.5 in writing so that will give you the maximum score that's the maximum you can gain that's 128 points for ielts so uh but if you try to do the same for your spouse it is not going to uh, affect that much in your uh, crs score so the next uh, factor that could increase is your canadian work experience uh, so if you try to add a work experience definitely uh, it'll uh, it will boost your score like anything but it's really difficult to get one Canadian work experience without your any work permit so uh, and apart from that the sibling score so if you add uh, if you have any sibling in Canada it will add you 15 points uh, so that is one good thing if you have anyone in uh, Canada then it is going to add you 15 points it, it should be blood related so either yours or your spouse's blood relay, uh, related sibling should be there so these are the major factors so first one is the uh, education wherein you can either go for a master's or phd and the second one is your ielts where you can aim to get a, a highest band score you or your spouse even though your spouse can contribute only maximum of 20 in ielts and uh, if you or your uh, wife has a Canadian work experience and uh, if you have any siblings and uh, uh, or the Canadian education, if you have any Canadian education, then it's going to uh, boost your score. So these are the real major factors that will affect your score. So if you think your score is good, you can readily apply for it. Uh, I hope this information is helpful for you. Uh, so you saw how you can calculate the CRS score and how to boost that score. If you find it useful, please share and do subscribe my channel by clicking the bell icon.